Hi, everyone. We are here with Karani Marie. My name is Vicky Oleski. Karani and I are co-hosting the Underworld Womb Temple Retreat, October 31st. It starts. We have uh, three, we're going to have five snippets about the retreat, and we are on day three, correct? Yes. Start us off. Okay, well, welcome again. Um, I'm happy to share with you that the underworld womb journey is filled with unexpected um, openings. Uh, the underworld is a place we don't visit much. It's a place that we hide from. And this is an opportunity to reconnect to parts of yourself that have been lost or forgotten or disowned even because it is a container that will allow you to discover more about yourself in a way that you can embrace and love more of you, which brings you more love in life. So that's what the underworld process of this is. The womb, of course, is rebirth. What's new? Going back to your pure essence and discovering more about the potentialities of your life. So this is why we're doing it. It's so important in our world right now. And Vicki and I are really excited about co-hosting this. So on the third day, after we have got acquainted, uh, received our, our board chalice, uh, visited the land, uh, visited Talakapaki, where we will experience the Day of the Dead ceremonies there, we come back to the sanctuary and we create uh, our own altar for the Day of the Dead. We have our womb journey and a feast. And now coming to the sanctuary in the morning, we're going to spend the whole day here. And this day is going to be about you embellishing and bringing forth your essence, your potentiality, your alchemy into your chalice. And um, so that day will be fully dedicated to that. We will have our lunch and dinner here. We will have a fire ceremony and we will go back into the womb presenting our chalice to the altar of the womb to yourself. And uh, it's going to be a full, rich, deepening day for all that you've experienced prior to this day. Each day is an excitement of unfolding energies and it feels like um, they're quite different, the first, the second, and now here we are talking about the third. I really get the sense of you know, individuation for each person, a sense of comfort and community and collaboration um, that we have, the, the women, eight of us, you know, again, I wanna remind people it's limited to eight. So please, if you're very interested, reach out to Krani and I, but the day, day three feels like it's, it's almost starting to, integrate into like oh i really get what we're doing and the gourd chalice is a representation of that experience and that's yes yes, yes. Yeah. thank you Vicky. that that's just you said that so beautifully it becomes your holy grail mm -hmm. you're living it and you're infusing this with you and what you've discovered yeah so yeah, it's going to be great. Really looking forward to uh, to offering this with you. You're welcome. Thank you. So exciting to be doing this together in Sedona. October 31st is the day we begin, and we're there till November 3rd. Check back in. We're going to have another short video describing our fourth day together in Sedona. Thanks, Karani Marie. You're welcome, Vicky.